Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will just be up making an updated tutorial for the Sony Homebrew Manager. So I normally don't make these kind of update videos, but in this case, this software has actually had a really good update. So I'm not sure if you watched my last video, you might have seen it, but as you can see right now, it's got a lot better and the display and the GUI actually looks really good. So basically, if you don't know what this is, um, it allows you to download homebrew apps for PS Vita, PS TV, PS3 and PS4 uh, really easily. It downloads them really fast as well and it just puts them in your downloads folder for you uh, so you don't have to browse all over the internet to find the files. So yeah, I'm really impressed. This has actually had a really good update and um, it was only released maybe about three days ago. So in this video, I'll just show you guys how to download it, how to set it up with the new update and yeah I'll show you how to download some homebrew apps as well so the first thing you want to do is just open up a notepad file quickly just because we want to save these two lines of text right here um, so you can just take them off the website I just find it easier just to paste them in a notepad and then I have got them for later so this one right here is for PS3 and then the second right here is for PS4. Now don't worry about the PS Vita um, line of text, I will get onto that in a minute. So once you've got these PS3 and PS4 saved, you can now scroll all the way up and go to the releases section and now we can download the latest version. So the latest version is version 1.4 and it was released three days ago. So all you would do is just click on the zip file and that will begin downloading. It will take a second to download. So once that has finished downloading, you can just head over to your PC's downloads folder and find the Sony Homebrew Manager zip file. So get the zip file, right click it and just select um, Extract To. It's then just going to put it in this nice file folder for you. You can go into it. You can always drag this out to your downloads actually, just the Sony Homebrew Manager. And now we can delete the zip file um, because we no longer need it. So go inside of this folder, SHM, and double click on the EXE file. So this is just going to open up the Sony Homebrew Manager. Um, it's portable as well, you don't have to install it. And you can put this anywhere in your PC. As long as the EXE is in the same folder as all these files, uh, you can put this on your desktop, your downloads, it's entirely up to you. So the first thing we want to do to get this set up is just click on Settings. Now on Settings, we want to start entering in um, the, you know, the lines of text. So let's enter in the PS3 one first. So just select it, right click copy, go to where it says PS3 and just paste it in there. And then we need to do the same thing with PS4. So right click copy, go to PS4 and paste it in there. So next you would choose your download path. So I decided to choose my downloads folder. As you can see, you just do C users, your name and then slash downloads. You can always click on this and then locate to it yourself. And then last of all, for the PS Vita, all you would do is just click this switch and it will turn on. And now it's going to install all of the homebrew apps from Vita DB. So now we just click save, then just click on OK. And then just click on OK again. And now we can start downloading all the homebrew apps that we want. So let's go for a PS Vita one first. Just click on it. And it's going to load in all the homebrew apps we can get. So there's quite a few on here. Um, of course, these are all the Vita DB ones, so this is a lot better than going to the website. You can just open this up on your PC and just download all the apps you want and then close it, as simple as that. Uh, let's just download some random stuff. Let's just download Quake right here. Also, it's got an option, so if you click this, it will go to the GitHub, and then if you click that, it will open up the web page. So now we have downloaded a PS Vita game. That downloaded very quickly. You can always click on the downloading section and the downloaded, so you can see what you've downloaded. But what we want to do is go back to the main menu and now we can download something else. So we've got PS4 homebrew apps on here as well. There isn't many PS4 ones yet and then we've also got PS3 and there's a few more PS3 ones out. Um, last time it just had RetroArch but now we've got some other stuff as well. Um, CFW extras, we can always download that as well. And you can go to the downloading tab and this one seems to have downloaded already. So yeah, really nice uh, program, definitely one of the best updates I've seen in a while. Um, you know, a lot has changed and there's a lot more homebrew apps to available. So if you guys want to donate, there's a donate option here. Also credits, so you guys can see um, who made this. And yeah, it's actually a pretty cool program. So once we have downloaded everything, just go back into the Sony Homebrew Manager folder and you'll be able to find it in here. So PSV, stands for PS Vita, go inside of that and we can find the VPK we downloaded for Vita Quake. 
and for that PS3 thing that we downloaded, go inside the PS3 folder, here is CFW Extras, and we can find the package file in here. So yeah, very nice program on how to download homebrew apps and applications very quickly um, without having to search the internet. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.